All right, this video, we're going to cover the FX Gladiator MK2. On this part, we're going to remove the stock, the rear air tube, and the front air tube. All right. First, we have to bleed off the pressure. All right. The front tube, you have to uh, unscrew it about four turns. The key point is there's a male fitting on this side where the air tube slides in. Uh, you want you want to back it out so it will close the valve and the air tube still remaining on the male male entered adapter and o-ring still intact holding the seal. Okay when you got this air tube backed out about four turns three or four turns. If you backed out too much, you'll hear it start uh, bleeding or leaking. You don't want to do that. You, you want to maintain the pressure in the air tube. Then on the rear air tube, you can start turning it about five turns or so. You hear a piss. When you hear a quick gush of air and stop that means this air tube was the valve was closed all right if it wasn't closed right it will continue to bleed till this front air tube completely drained out so you don't want to you want to maintain the pressure there so that's why you back it out close the valve and maintain a seal then unscrew the rear Alright, now we remove the front tube. <clears throat> Remind you, this if you have a regulated gun, there is still pressure in it on the regulated chamber side. So now I removed earlier the, the trigger blade. It kind of it's in a way to tilt the gun back. All right, there's only one screw that holds the whole stock in. Yeah, like you need a, a four mil Allen. <clears throat> Key point is just tilt it back like that and slide it out to the rear. Like that. See, here's a, here's a trigger post. You see there ain't that much clearance there. That's why you need to remove the trigger blade. It's like a one and a half mil to remove that. <clears throat> now, there is pressure in there. What I do is, I shoot a couple. Then I grab an Allen wrench. So you don't want to bleed it too much, then you'll be less pressure uh, to hold the valve, the valve stem closed. So you don't want to jam the piston and jam the, the valve back into the chamber and kind of, you will overpower the spring, you might uh, disengage the valve stem in this cavity. So to minimize damage, I usually just stick a Allen wrench in there and just manually compress. There, you hear that little piss sound? I mean, there's no more pressure there. Now I could feel the valve open, close, open. I know there ain't no pressure in there and it's safe. Because this gauge here only indicates it's your supply end, not your regulator end. Now it's safe to work in there whatever you have to do reseal it do some adjustment uh, you hammer spring adjustment here so our next video we're going to cover that catch you next one